Another Russian attempt to make gains in the east of Ukraine has failed. Ukrainian troops have thwarted a Russian army attack on the country's Kharkiv region where enemy troops attempted to advance towards Ukrainian positions in small groups, local telegram channels reported on Monday. Members of Ukraine's Spartan Brigade destroyed equipment and a platoon of infantry of the Russian invaders, and also took a number of Russian troops as hostages, according to reports. Thanks to the operation carried out by the Spartan soldiers, the Russian assault in the region failed. The brigade's aerial reconnaissance team first intercepted the movement of Russian military personnel and instantly launched strikes with the use of drones and UAVs. As a result of precise operation carried out by Ukrainian fighters, Russians suffered heavy losses. The adversary lost military equipment, in particular an infantry fighting vehicle and a platoon of infantry, according to reports in Ukrainian telegram channels. There has been no official confirmation of the latest operation in Kharkiv in Russia and Ukraine. It should be noted that since October 2023, Russia has stepped up attacks on eastern Ukraine where it has been slowly gaining ground. Eastern Ukraine has been contested territory since 2014, when Russian-backed fighters seized large swathes of the eastern Donetsk and Luhansk regions. The Air Force has already begun to use the most modern aviation missiles of the short-range class. Air-to-Air -air AIM 9X Block II. Missiles lit up for the first time on Ukrainian weapons. AIM 9X is installed on a wide range of modern aircraft, in particular the F-16. They can also be used by the NASAM's air defense system to destroy KR and other aerial targets. A U.S. Navy-led joint program with the U.S. Air Force, the AIM-9X Sidewinder missile also has 31 foreign military sales partners. The Advanced Infrared Tracking, short-range missile is combat-proven in several theaters around the world. The weapon is configured for easy installation on a wide range of modern aircraft, including the F-15C Eagle, F-15E Strike Eagle, F-16 Fighting Falcon, F-818 Super Hornet, E divided by a minus 18G Growler, F-22 Raptor and all F-35 Joint Strike Fighter variants. As part of NASAMS, also known as the National Advanced Surface-to-Air Missile System, AIM-9X adds a short-range layer of defense. The AIM-9X Block II missile adds a redesigned fuse and a digital ignition safety device to improve handling and in-flight safety. It's equipped with updated electronics, including a lock-on after-launch capability using a new weapon data link to support beyond visual range engagements. Sidewinder is a U.S. trademark of the Department of the Navy, an agency of the U.S. government. The Ukrainian armed forces managed to almost completely neutralize the threat from Russian FPV drones using electronic warfare systems. This fact was sadly acknowledged by Russian propagandist Alexei Chadayev on air at Komsomolskaya Pravda radio station. He argues that the Ukrainian armed forces have an advantage not in the number of FPV strike drones, but in their use. Less than 5% of Russian UAVs reach their target. If we take such a narrow tactical sphere as disposable FPV kamikazes, then they are comparable. Only those that we have are effectively jammed by their electronic warfare. I cited statistics. 160 launched and 5 hits on target, 50 near the target, the rest were shot down by electronic warfare. Chadayev complained.
Such vulnerability of Russian FPV drones to electronic warfare systems is the result of the inflexibility of the Russian military-industrial complex. The complex is not able to modernize its weapons quickly enough, adapting to the situation on the battlefield. Recall the full-scale Russian invasion of Ukraine is often referred to as the world's first large-scale drone war. But far the most prevalent type of drone on the Ukrainian battlefield is the first-person view drone, a type that our company sells in Ukraine and elsewhere. Despite their relatively low cost compared to other aerial platforms, FPV drones possess a number of capabilities that have resulted in a dramatic shift in our understanding of modern warfare. Given their navigation capabilities, these drones have become the preferred platform for mounting explosives and executing targeted strikes. Originally emerging from the realm of civilian hobby drone racing, FPV drones have robust motors and frames that are built to withstand the rigors of high-speed races and multiple crashes. Relative to their fixed-wing cousins, copter-type drones have greater maneuvering capabilities which, in the hands of skilled pilots, convert into precision targeting unique to FPV drones. It is uncommon for pilots to fly their drones through the window of a building or into the open hatch of an armored vehicle unleashing an explosion on exposed personnel inside. FPV drones are also well suited for targeting specific equipment like optics, radars and antennas mounted on the exteriors of armored vehicles.